Hi guys, this is Gabe from Chilium Studios, and today I would like to show you how I fixed issues I was having with my Universal Audio Apollo Twin interface causing popping and crackling in my DAW, in this case Ableton Live 10. I am using the Thunderbolt interface on Windows 10 on an HP Spectre X360 convertible laptop, but I believe that these steps might help people that are using other interfaces and versions of Windows as well. Also, I'm using the Cable Matters uh, Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter, and it seems to be working just fine. The two steps that fixed my issue were lowering my max processor speed in my power settings and disabling Intel speed step and the C1E processor state. So let's get to it. It is important to note that the next step is contrary to what many Windows audio tweaking guides tell you to do, including Universal Audios. So you may have made this change and it's causing your problem. So let's go through the steps. We're gonna right click on the Windows icon. We're gonna to go to Power Options. On the right hand side, we're gonna to go to Additional Power Settings. You are going to select your power plan and hit change plan settings. Go to change advanced power settings. In the window that pops up, you are going to expand processor power management. You're going to expand maximum processor state and then change uh, the number here to 99% for plugged in or if you're on battery, 99% uh, as well. You can also go lower. Hit OK. Close all these out. For the next step, we are going to disable Intel Speed Step and the C1E processor state. On most computers, you do this in the BIOS, so you can check with your manufacturer on how to do that. On my particular laptop, which is an HP Spectre, I didn't have the options to change any of the, uh, the processor states, so I downloaded a program called Throttle Stop. I will link it below. Once you download it, all you need to do is execute it. And then you're gonna go over, you're gonna uncheck speed step and you're gonna uncheck C1E. You're gonna save that and then close out. And that's it. These steps helped uh, stop my noise issues and random popping with my universal audio interface. I hope they help you out too. If they do, please just comment below. If they don't, comment below and maybe we can help you out. Um, also, if you hit subscribe below, I'm going to be putting up more helpful guides in the future, so I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.